Early on, left-wing activists, the deep state and the D.C. swamp, decided to devote all of their waking hours to a smear and slash campaign with the goal of convincing you that this Trump presidency was invalid. I don't see this president-elect as a legitimate president. There's a cloud of illegitimacy that's hanging over the White House. An illegitimate and criminal regime in the American White House. He's an illegitimate president in my mind. <laughs> Folks, look, I absolutely agree. He knows he's an illegitimate president. He will not be acquitted. You cannot be acquitted if you don't have a trial. No trial, no vindication. No vindication for the president or anyone else. There cannot be a true acquittal if there's not been a fair trial. A trial without truth, without key evidence, without witnesses and documents would render the president's acquittal meaningless. This is how the Democrats always play the game. Remember, to this day, they don't consider Brett Kavanaugh a legitimate Supreme Court justice. The very fact that he's there, that he was confirmed, uh, makes him an Ill illegitimate justice. He's going to be on the Supreme Court with a huge taint and a big asterisk after his name. There will be a cloud and a taint hovering over him and every opinion uh, that he issues. How ironic that this odious impeachment odyssey is itself the epitome of an illegitimate undertaking. This entire proceeding here is now the fruit of the poisonous tree. It is the fruit of a proceeding that was fatally deficient in due process from the start to the beginning. And as a result of that, it produced a record that is totally unreliable, can't be relied on here for any conclusion other than acquitting the president. Now, White House attorney, the Energizer Bunny, otherwise known as Pat Philbin, swatted down claims that acquittal will strip Congress of any of its oversight power. To say now that all of oversight will be destroyed forever if you accept the president's arguments is totally false. It's totally misleading because they weren't purporting to do just regular oversight. And as we pointed out several times, the October 8th letter said specifically, if you want to return to regular oversight, we're happy to do that. As we have in the past, it was the House Democrats that didn't want to take that route. By the way, he's become the pinup boy for, you know, law nerds. <laughs> Pat Philbin. But that's an amazing point, right, that the Democrats refused to even work with the White House unless it was total submission to whatever uh, Schiff and Nadler wanted. Listen, I was in the rooms. Uh, and by the way, we call Pat Jack Webb just the facts, ma'am. You know, oh, no, he he's just so great. He's there. not a showboater. Yeah, no, that. he's not. You know, he's a workhorse and he's doing a great job. But I was in, in the deposition room with Adam Schiff, and he talks about fairness. Tonight, he went on about fairness, and, and I was about to pull my hair out as I listened to that because each and every time we would get in there, ask questions, say, well, why don't we call this witness? Why don't we go ahead and, and make sure that we bring forth this kind of evidence? If it was to the president's advantage at all, the answer was always consistently no, and yet uh, Pat makes a good point. If they're really serious about this, they should have been serious before they voted on impeachment several weeks ago.